the results that shall come out from such an atmosphere or from such a room will never portray the goal or the objectives of the owners of such a home. This is what we are witnessing in Nigeria. And that um, identifies um, a particular point that our Creator Allah SWT, has given a signal to in the Quran. Allah says when you uh, see what you don't like in people, probably in their behavior, probably in the way they um, uh, interact with other mortals, probably in the way they um, uh, engage um, uh, issues, happenings, crises, Allah says you shouldn't be surprised. Because sometimes some people get the motivation of what they do or for what they do from others other than Allah. Allah says, Afaman Zuyina Lawu Suhu Amali for Rahu Hassan. compares an environment, a home, where things are normal with respect to what should be put in place. With another home, where things are not normal, where the parents therein do not rise up to their responsibilities. Allah says, Are you going to compare that person who sees sanity in the madness he displays? Are you going to compare that mortar who considers the madness he displays as sanity with another mortar who is conscious of what he puts forth? It is a simple comparison, and that comparison um, uh, captures the contours, the familial contours that you and I have in Nigeria. When I say the familiar contours we have in Nigeria, such familiar contours do not end up in the southwestern part of Nigeria. As we have crooked walls, as we have a spoilt brats in the southwestern part of Nigeria, we equally have spoilt brats in the northern part of Nigeria. We equally have them in the eastern part of Nigeria. But where does the failure come forth? That is the question. A home that considers I mean, the journey of their children or of the children within the shade of that home are sacrosanct. You will never see M smokers from such a home. A home that um, uh, gives credence, primacy to factors that um, uh, give a success to child upbringing can never be compared to another home where whether the child succeed or the child succeeds or not is not a concern. The advice we are reading is the summary of what we are to discuss. That person, whom Shaitan has made good, the madness it displays. Are you going to compare the person with somebody who is ever conscious of the fact that if he is not held accountable for what he does, Allah will hold him accountable? If the people, if the society doesn't hold him accountable for the madness he displays, he knows that. The conscience tells him that Allah will hold him accountable. This is a comparison of two different homes we have in the country. We have a home where criminals are bred. We have a home where we say, yeah, yeah, British are bred. Because there isn't you know, a slogan that um, uh, gives our honor to people you and me refer to as celebrities. Because what we see, what we witness in Nigeria is one of the outcomes of what some people display, probably on the social media networks, probably through other avenues. They display those things and think that they are helping the society. This is the basis of our problem. This is the basis of our tragedy in Nigeria. How would a boy age 10 think of getting involved in a crime? How would a boy age 17 think of tarnishing the image of his family? How would a boy age 17 think of putting a soul, subhanallah? How would a boy age 17 think of terminating a soul? 
all because he wanted to go into money rituals. And I tell people that when um, uh, such a case comes before us, we wouldn't hold the boy alone accountable for the problem he has created. If we are to go by what standards demand, we should hold the parents accountable. Because our children are sharper than we think. Our children are sensitive than we think. The boy in question, in the case I was referring to, must have seen things that are similar to what he later perpetrated from the parent. I want to believe that if the parents are not killers themselves, if the parents are not ritualists themselves, the boy would not have ended up committing such a heinous crime. So we are emphasizing a point that what we input is what we have as an outcome. So that is my, my first point. What we input is what we have as an outcome. And that here is where Islam talks about education. And educating our children in Islam has several brands. One of such brands of education that we must inculcate into the upcoming ones, which will later debar them, shield them, protect them from wanting to commit crimes, is Atalbiya al Imaniya. Atalbiya al Imani, that is an ideological orientation, an ideological orientation, education. An ideological orientation will forever infuse in a child the fear that the one that I don't see sees me. So that is what an ideological orientation will infuse in a child. The one, the mortar, the supreme being I don't see, and whom I will never have the capacity to see in life, sees me, knows whatever I do, and shall surely hold me accountable. If at all my parents may be um, uh, called upon later to account for how I had been educated, I will, be, I will be the first person to face the wrath of whatever I might have committed as crimes. That is the first um, uh, brand of education, child of bringing. Do we connect our children with the Creator? And we have, we have a problem with, with regard to that in Nigeria. Several of us believe that a country of Nigeria's pedigree should not go on the religious journey. And that is a problem. It is a problem. Some people um, uh, used to say, before now, used to say that our country is secular. That, that, that um, satanic chanting has affected several things in, 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 in the country. How would, how would a sin, a sin mortar come out to argue that Nigeria is a secular environment? Do we ever have an environment in the whole world that has been secular? I'll make a mention of several European societies that some people think are secular and which in actual fact are never secular. The UK is never secular. The UK is never separate. I'm trying to create a connection between giving a child ideological what? education with respect to the failure that may greet that if such an education is not given. The UK is not secular. This is an open challenge. Because whenever a social bill, a social bill is to be passed into law concerning the, the written aspect of the, of, of the British Constitution, that bill will be taken to the Canterbury for a final ratification. And where do we have the Canterbury? The Canterbury, with respect to the British Amal society, reverse to a place where we have close to 25 archbishops in Britain who shall preside over a particular social bill that shall be um, uh, passed into law. In such a society, we are uh, archbishops preside rather over social bills. Can any same motor say such a society is secular? What do archbishops do? Do they play Ludo? Do they play chess? At the Canterbury, the decision as to when and how and the manner in which a social policy is ratified is determined. So when we say we should give our children an ideological orientation, we know, what we, we know what we mean. That is the only thing that we salvage our children 
That is the only thing that will shield them from um, committing crimes. We, on that note, we want to remind us of um, a statement created to one of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Ibn Abbas, he warns us that, of the oh you parents, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want your words, your children, to go into satanism as it is the common practice now satanism in fact um, uh, people used to look for areas where they could be inducted into confraternities as we speak you don't have to look for areas you don't have to look for people who are going to induct you into such um, uh, um, uh, courses. you may read processes of induction processes of spiritual induction are written in this they are written in books, and such books, when children are not given an ideological orientation, they read them. There was a particular time we were called upon, I and my other brothers were called upon to come and pick a number of books that the caller thought were going to be useful for us from our home of one of the dignities in the Bada here. We went to the and were taken to where the library where the library is. As we were packing the books, we saw a book, a book upon which was written an entry into the secret world. That is the title of the book, an entry into the secret world. Meaning that I don't have to look for people who can induct me. I can just read, pick the book and read. And within a second, I'm in that confraternity. When we don't infuse an ideological orientation, creedal orientation into our children, they will lose the conscience and the consciousness that should have been the ingredient that will ward them away from committing crimes. Iman will be If you don't want your children to go wayward, you yourself as parents must walk with the dictate of your creator. Walk with the dictate of Allah. You should be fearful of infringing on Allah's inductions. We ourselves as parents, we commit crimes. We commit crimes and our children closely watch us as such crimes are being committed. We perpetrate, we perpetrate evils. We are not being shielded away from committing crimes by what we claim we know. A mother that is a killer shall surely have children who shall be killers. A father that is a killer shall surely have children who shall be killers. That is a cause and effect situation that Islam teaches about. If you kill and your children get under to your killers, which tell the woman and say, Allah, you also should shy away, move away from committing crimes. It is, it, it, is when, it is when you lead by examples. When you lead by examples, when you do not commit crimes, when your children know that my parents are never fearing, they can never be God fearing. We have that problem here in Nigeria. We have it here in the Southwest. When, when you have the opportunity to go through our slums, when you go through the streets and see what young boys age 20, 25, 30, when you see crimes they commit, you are going to, you are going to, you are going to shiver. And you are going to be concerned about what the future for this country holds. So when children see their parents committing crimes, when an ideological education is not inculcated into children, they are going to grow up, become what? Criminals. That is what you see on the social media network. Cyber crimes are on the increase. I'm very sure I'm in an environment that is in the know of such crimes. These children that commit such crimes emerge from certain homes. They are parents. 
But what is the missing link between what they do and what was expected of their parents? It is the what the that lack of an ideological, a creedal orientation. How do we attain creedal orientation? Before you go to the next point, how do we attain creedal orientation? We attain creedal orientation. What I'm doing as I'm standing here isn't magical. I give the credit to what my father wanted me to do. We never, we, 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 I never knew that there are glories attached to attending a madrasa. Your children can never acquire ideological education through reading a Bible chemistry textbook. Neither, neither will they ever acquire a critical orientation through reading new school physics textbook. Where do we get an, a critical orientation from the mother of side? From the mother of side. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't say. Don't say. Who will take his children to the Madrasa? We are they are usually tell that. We are they are usually changed. Tell those operators of such Madrasa to change what? To change, to change their staff. To change their staff. We are going to acquire credential orientation. We ourselves and our children through what? Through getting them enrolled in a Madrasa. A functional Madrasa. A piety studded Madrasa. A functional madrasa, a piety studded madrasa. Get, let's get that noted. There is never a two way to get in that. The second point that explains the demand of Islam for an orientation for children is the point of Atalbiya. Let's go into Atalbiya la Akhiliya. Atalbiya la Akhiliya, we give children intellectual orientation. I want to believe that children, ones that feel inferior, in most cases, are the ones that bully, are the ones that get involved in several kinds that you and I know. Children that feel inferior. What we teach children, what we teach our world, we save them from feeling inferior. Inferiority complex is a killer. It kills faster than gone. What I mean is simple. When a child feels inferior, he will want to look for a way to defend his own self. And in a way, wanting to defend his own self, he will bully. And when he bullies, he will commit crimes. Because he doesn't, he doesn't feel certain of whom he is. Islam talks about intellectual orientation. How should that begin? The first journey into an intellectual orientation that Islam teaches is when you connect. Our father was saying that he took his son around the, um, uh, the palace of the um, the, the of the, the Caesar Ulubada of Ubada. He wanted the son to see what will be the last journey of you and me. That it was, it was, it was an intellectual orientation. We take our children across historical planes. This is where Islam is coming from. When children know that this is my religion, because what we see, what we witness in a society as we speak is that people, some people will say we don't need religion. They will say, in fact, most of the problems that the devil our society, our present world, came from religion. And I make bold to say, I, will, I wouldn't speak for other religions. I know of what Islam has achieved in history. I'm very certain of the, the lofty heights, the giant slide that Islam has taken in history. If people say religion causes half, I will say, have they forgotten that? It was through an intellectual orientation that Islam took the European intelligentsia to that made them whom they are as we speak. Islam didn't wage a war before it, it got an entry into Spain. It wasn't a war. It was the Spanish that inv invited Muslim scholars from Baghdad. They said, we want people like you. 
And it was when Spanish and uh, Muslim scholars go to Spain, to Spain that you see you know, that you see universities. It was then that the Spanish people became literary, not only the Spanish people. It was then the Europeans. Europeans became literate. I don't I don't I wouldn't say sorry for saying this. Because it is in the archives for those who care to know. Victor Robinson, a European historian, gives an account of how education, intellectual orientation, go to Europe, beginning with what with Spain. Robinson says that as at the time Muslim scholars go to Spain, an issue we call it we call Spain Iberian Peninsula. No single European, no single European. I want to emphasize it. No single European was able to read and write. No single European. I'm using this argument to disclaim the fact that, or the argument of some people that religion brings Africa. Before Islam got to Spain, no single European was able to read and write. This is an account coming from a, spa, a, sorry, a European scholar, Victor Robinson, a lecturer with the New York State University. He says, Wakana Subhanallah, at Fal Muslimina be Al Alandalus, Yakrohuna, Yestateun al Kiroha, Wakanu, Yaktuhuna Asmaahu, Hainama Lam Yakun, Inama Lam Yestati, Lam Yestati, Rubanu the Kanais, Kitabata Asmaahi. I quote it as he has written it. When the children of the Muslims were able to were able to have the orientation to read and write, to read and write, no in Spain, because they were attending madrasa, no single Spanish, including those who were managing the religious affairs of the Spanish people, no single Spanish was able to read and write. And that was that was an outcome of an intellectual orientation. When a child is properly orientated intellectually, um, I can bet it to anybody that the exposure that may shield such a child from committing crimes would have been there. A very good example. Why do some Muslims shy away from identifying themselves as Muslims? It is because they lack an intellectual orientation. They think, they claim that they are Muslims will inferiorize them, will make them feel inferior. So when a child feels inferior, he will commit crime. It is, it is a Muslim lady that feels inferior, that goes around naked. Because he doesn't, he doesn't understand, he doesn't, she doesn't rather realize that the hijab beautifies. She thinks the hijab will make him lower in ranking. It is when a boy, a boy child, a Muslim boy child, feels inferior that he commits crime. I can remember, when we were in the secondary school, we were never that um, uh, better off financially. But we got an orientation from home. If you are serious with what you are being taught in school, you are going to emerge as a leader. That was the orientation. And we were contented with such an orientation. I was not um, uh, shy away from saying this. Nigeria is boiling. Lack of orientation, wrong proper upbringing is making Nigeria boil. And a society that lacks the proper, the proper and the of children's orientation may not have a future. A, a raving example is the issue of Christland High School in Lagos. And I will cite this. For you, for you and me to know how we must put our own in order. It is. Should make 
all of us shiva. That case should make all of us spirit shiva and should force us back into our homes. How do I take charge of the journey of my children? The case doesn't am um, worth being repeated. We are, we've, all, we've all seen it. But it was as a result of, of a parental failure, a parental crackdown. It was as a result of, as a result of that. There is no amount of um, a defense and strategy that anyone can come up with that can convince us that the parents of such a girl are failed. Don't we have children that are similar to that lady in our homes? That is a question that we must prefer answer to within our closet. I want to hear and say, I want to say, you your lane. I the belong to the lane. I belong to the lane. I will draw what down in the area. Can you do down? You need down. Yes, you need down. I will draw what down to the pool and down the feeling. You don't have a factors from them. I will go your way there. I will see in buy a piece of to need the generate the more. See what to need that will be more. Kill off to what you are. A fort alone, who ye may be, they will pay your money. A fort alone, ye may be, they will pay your money. And things so also where you offer for me more will be a baby. So you are. And things so also be, no be, offer for me will be a Isha. In Tabani, I live for you. Oh, my God, I got a lot of that. Let me come in my That is a trivial orientation. I like it. I want like it. I'm on a lot of Baba tapped here for a long year. Bull of a possible day, no liquor. Tuesday, Bell, Billy, and Bear, eight million, only Bell, only Bell. Oh, you come up here about so nine and do not. Come <laughs> Alors, <laughs> Il <laughs> Et Il 
e ko opolo ni Olorun fi ta Islam o fara Europe ke se ida ke so bo awon afa ni Baghdad awon to invite won lo Spain wa Christians Spanish Christians no invite awon afa mo sun lati Baghdad pe eyin le ido eyin o so yi lara ti won ma pe mo sun le nkan lo mo sun le nkan lo won e le believe pe in tan se ni mathematics le ni tan se chemistry le ni tan ko physics le ni awon afa mo sun mi ni won ko si won ko le lo fi la ko le no european scholar no european scholar can you call that for only galileo galileo bank o bank n bi kan awon afa lo ko ngba tan to ko le le bo to ka awon afa yin o di da kuda tori pe won le won le de kini o tori opolo ta ba ti ori omo ri opolo yi o di da kuda yo daran o lo wo la so komo you shall become rich lo je ka fi o so jona ta se kini ta fi o si ta ba so be ko yo se yawu yawu bi ba se nlo eyan aba nko lo tin lo eyan yo pada lo ya re o ke si si po lo do yin fe doga wa dada yo lo ya re yo lo ya e ati re to so yin pe mama re lo mu dani won ati mama e jo lo ba eyan aburo re age 21 na yin lohun aburo re ti ya nbi oni ki yen le ba lowo So I'm not saying as of how much you shall become rich. I'm not saying angry, but intellectually, psychologically, I want to know if you still have your conscience in your life. Mama, you know some people are married to Sasewo. Yes. Mama, you know some people are married to Sasewo. You just see, I want to see an interview at the end of the day. Mama, you know that lady. Tell me about what they are doing. Tell me about what they are doing. Ah, yeah, it's what I want to do. I want to know what they are doing. won le so nkan gba lorun pe ma se rada rada mo won bi danjo te kere ke lo we ke wa ru so mo ga ya ke mo bo tori pe face me slap lo polopo agbe ki lo de le ni omo yan o bo passport lo ko mi lodo lati street in lo si the top street yo sa se wo awon kan tun da wo do rule ta wo ko ba si di pe awon yan tin da gbo ran a wo do baje ko ni sabu Eli ni so kitan ni kan ran leti pelu won ma ta so fun rawa we beseech Allah to make this a rewarding activity and may he record it in the books of our good deeds in the books of our good deeds in this life and hereafter may he never make this the last of the episode of this nature in this particular community we learned it was it was the maiden edition may it continue till Allah knows when he has the power to do that he has the power to do we beseech on we, we are not commanding you Allah we pray to you to grant us eternal relevance over what we have organized today and on several other ones we shall organize in our thing bismillah rahman rahim in our thing na kalikausa fasalli li rabbika wa la haw inna shaniyaka wa lauta subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin